I'm a little fatty. Glad I am. Like, if I wasn't an MMA fighter, I reckon I'd be about 19 stone. When I'm sitting there with people and I'm eating, and they're going, you're not full. I'm like, nah, lad. Nah, cause you're not eating that, cause that. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I am Paddy Pimley and I have been trying some fast food. He fights out of Liverpool in England! Paddy the Paddy Pimlet! Food for me is it's, the, it's everything, lads. It's the be all and end all. Obviously, I'm doing a 10 week camp where I can't have nothing like that. So I want to rip my opponent's head off for the fact I haven't been able to enjoy my life for the past 10 weeks. When we went into lockdown, I started uh, just dipping chocolate bars in Nutella. I was just dipping Wisp of Golds in Nutella and just eating them, you know what I mean? And like Costco cookies, I was just getting one cookie, lumping Nutella in between and putting another cookie on top and putting it in the microwave for 10 seconds and then just having a cookie sandwich. I get creative with food, lad. You know what I mean? You've got to get creative. Show me how you do that McDonald's triple cheeseburger thing. Yeah, that's it. Lad, as soon as I seen that they were doing triple cheeseburgers, lad, I was a triple cheeseburger, man. Didn't even need to taste it. No, didn't even need to taste it. I just knew. After that Decky Dalton fight, lad, I went in. I went proper in. And obviously the world went into lockdown from... So I fought Friday night, but then Monday, everything got shut. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go and get a Mackey's before it shuts. I think I got like a fucking 50 pound McDonald's up. Got like two large meals, 20 nuggets, a triple cheeseburger, some of them mozzarella dippers, some chicken selects, and I ate every single thing. You know what I mean? Everything. I didn't let anything go to waste. I was proud of myself that day, but then the next morning I was like, the guts back. The guts back. That's a proper burger. You know, people who go and get hamburgers and that. It's like people who go to Subway and get a six inch. Why get a six inch? That wouldn't fill my nephew up. You know what I mean? He's nine. Lad, if you're going, do it properly. Lad, I could, I could wallop them, me, lad. Like, Talking for it, maybe. Easy. And what do you think of the gurkhans on the uh, McDonald's burger type? Get out. Look, we, go, we, we don't have anything on them. We just have cheese and tomato sauce. We don't have anything else. If you get anything else on your burger, you're rough. Went to Wigan for a quarter zone off Dr. John. We tried to go to about four different cafes. Now on your phone, on Google, tried to go to like four different ones. All shut. We only end up going, fuck it, we'll just go to Mackey's, we'll just get a McMuffin. Three double sausage egg McMuffins, two Ash Browns each, blah, blah. Get some tomato sauce there as well, love. 20p. What? I've just spent 15 quid and you want 20p for a sauce? Are you for fucking real? 20p for sauce when you're buying food anyway from the place is scandalous. <laughs> so what, what, are we, what are we giving the triple cheese uh, out of 10? Straight 10. <laughs> Straight 10 with no gherkins on, lad. And this would be your go-to, yeah? The double, the double stagger? Yeah, when it comes to a burger, lad, that would be my go-to. That. By the bing, by the boom. Look at that, lad. That's a nine now, this is a ten. Really, yeah? yeah. yeah oh my god. You can't give two tens out in one day, lad. This isn't dancing on ice. Every MMA fighter says, after this fight, I'm not going to put too much weight on. After this fight, I'm not going to put too much Lad, it's the worst lie ever, because we all do it. You can't help it. You go, well, I'll just have that. Especially when you've got an appetite like me. Lad, I'm terrible. Like, really, if I weren't a fighter, I'd be a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'd see me on them um, programs, lad. No, you've got to get a forklift to get you out of the front room. <laughs> Seeing Cartman, lad, when they play World of Warcraft on South Park, I'd be like that. <laughs> Mum, come and help me. <laughs> Did he give you bottles of coke now, yeah? He gave you bottles of coke. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah. Lad, I've told you, ever you come in my presence with Coke Zero or Diet Coke and you're getting sent home, any drink with zero sugar in is just wrong for me. I'm so jealous of you. Wow, that power. <laughs> and now Burger King introduces the bacon double cheeseburger. <laughs> that remains the king of bears, but over the years, Burger King's gone downhill. Can you remember the old chips? Yeah, the old chips were The savage. old chips were unbelievable, lad. Really really lad, the old chips were like orgasms in your mouth, lad, as you were eating them. Oh, that looks a bit flat today, doesn't it? It is. If you're on it when you get in the airport, though, you need to fucking remortgage your house. I've never seen the fucking price of them in the airport. Like, whenever I go to get one, I'm like, please, love, 
because I'm getting robbed, will you just pull the shotgun out and put the balaclava on for me while I pay you? You know what I mean? I'm from here, I've lived here my whole life and I've never re really wanted to go anywhere else. You know what I mean? People in this city, lad, we look after our own. And that's why we say Scouts, not English. Since yeah. I was about four or five or something, the first time I went to Anfield, and then that'd be the only grail to me, fighting there. Would. I, think, I reckon I'd, I'd rather have that than win the belt, fill Anfield out. You know what I mean? Like 60, 70,000 people, because you'd have the pitch as well, wouldn't you? And you think it's possible? <laughs> I know it's possible. I don't think. I know. You know what I mean? Without being big headed. I sold the Echo Arena out on my own for Cage Warriors without the UFC brand name attached to it when I was 22 or something. You know what I mean? And like, people think that we couldn't do that with, with fucking a UFC name attached to it. But a lot of people don't think it'll happen just because like Connor's been calling for Cork Park for that long. The biggest name in the sport wants Croke Park and he can't get it as if you're getting Anfield, but that would just be built around one person. Where if I fought in Anfield, there'd be, as I say, me, Molly, Till, Aspinall, Grundy, Arnold Allen, Leon Edwards, Darren Stewart, you know what I mean? People from all over the country. There's the Scottish, the Welsh, Jack Shore and that. Lad, there's, there's loads of people to get on that card. That lad know what? Even though it's an old school banger, it's getting like a seven or an eight that way. It's gone down, lad, yeah, it's gone down. I had the tackle bell in America. What side do you reckon I go for? Yeah, no. oh, Fuck, I'll go this way. It's not bad at all, to be honest. It's better than Burger King. Like I said before, though, Burger King's gone downhill. I used to proper love a Burger King, so I'm gonna go. Burger King is seven. Taco Bell, seven and a half. In fact, no, eight. Simple cheese, nine. That's ten. It's like that, and know what? I'm pulling that back out and having another bite of that. <laughs> Lad, I can't get over how heavy that is. This whole burger's getting nailed now, like. <laughs> Come here, I want to, I've never actually asked you about the, the thing. I actually think it's, it's one of the most admirable things about you. And you're so young to be doing this, uh, speaking about mental health issues and stuff like that. At first, I never spoke to anyone, literally. Before the back fight, because obviously my hand was, I was still training with a splint on, no, like the splint underneath. Like that's one of the only fights I've ever went into thinking, oh, could this happen, could that happen? I've never went into a fight like that before. Fucking went out into a full echo arena, lad. Um, I can't have fucking nine, ten thousand people there. And I nearly finished them, lad. And then, obviously, I didn't get finished. That's, that's something that I'm proud of. I never got finished. I went five rounds. But obviously, I got fucking I got beat in front of my own town, lad. For the belt. For over five rounds. But then, lad, for about two weeks, I'd wake up in ours. And my bed would go to work. These mornings, I was just sitting in my bed crying. You know what I mean? Just sitting in bed crying. I'd come to the gym and I'd just have to go to the toilet and just stand in the toilet and start crying. I'd just be like, what? You're finished. That's what I was saying to me, Ed. You're finished. Obviously, that's where stuff like random tweets, they proper affect you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're already low. So for a few months, lad, I was. I was fucking I was a bad lad. I didn't speak to no one about it. Like, as you said, I'm like, I'm meant to be a fighter. Like, I shouldn't have to go and speak to someone about how I'm how I'm feeling. Because now as soon as you speak and say something to someone, it's like a weight gets lifted off your shoulders and you're just like, oh, fucking hell, I feel better already. And it's just off speaking to someone, you know what I mean? It's not as if anyone's done anything for you or give you any medication or anything like that. Fucking, you've just spoke to someone and because you've got it off your chest, it's like you've got a weight lifted off your shoulders. And that's just what I started doing. I started getting lots of messages off people saying, oh, I've been struggling, I'm made up to where you talk about it. So we're so happy that you've said this, you've made me like, not try and kill myself today because of this. And I'm just like, oh my God, lad. That's whenever, crazy. whenever, that's what I mean, lad. Like some days I feel like a counselor, but I enjoy it, you know what I mean? Because I'm helping people. Krispy Kreme donuts are so good that it's almost impossible to get home without eating one. After I fought my last fight, I weighed in at 70 last time. And then <laughs> I weighed myself a week later and I was like 89.6. I'd put like, Nearly 20 key on since I weighed in. It's like nearly 50 pounds, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Bad, it's, it's fucking crazy, lad. Um, has that one got strawberry in the middle, is the question? Oh, there's something in it. There's oh. something in it. Fuck it, it's happening. Would you often finish off, like when you're out of camp, you'd often finish off a big meal with, with a bit of a sweet, an L down on, an L chocolate bar? I have to have a dessert. There's round, but like I said. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Just get that one out. KFC, lad, if you want to sponsor, I'm here. You know what I mean? I'm here. Hook him up. Hook a man up, lad. If you like that with a monster and a, a, and a burger, go a little sip of the man. <laughs> like I said, lad, like Happy Gilmore on that subway. Ah. 
<laughs> no, this is the best interview ever. Ever. That's all. <laughs>